Hello, how's it going YouTube world? We're back again today. We're going to do a little quick video on refinishing a little uh, workbench cart here, garage cart. Show you what we got going on here. Just a little old cart. Somebody's painted it with house paint. A little, uh, little unlevel. You can see. Uh, Okay. We've got some other projects going on today. We're going to put an AC belt on our truck, but we're going to let it cool off for a while. Uh, just going to wire brush this. It's not as tall as I like, so I got some angle arm. I'm just going to cut these. I haven't decided how much I'm going to add in it. Add that angle arm in the middle and wire brush this up, get it all leveled back up, and probably give it a coat of paint. So, uh, We'll uh, be back here in a little bit, show you update. Still doing some more wire brushing on it here, but I wanted to come in and show you. I mean, it's got layer after layer of paint. Even got down to some blue in here. Pick it up there. Get a little more light on it here. But see the blue tin in it. Just nasty. Got to bend this back out. See right here. I'll straighten all that up. Uh, throw my flashlight across the floor. Got a lot more to go. I'll take some pictures and add them in, show you how it's coming along. See how thick this is. I just wanted to give you the update. Got a couple sides. We're going to wire brush that. If y'all are doing anything to finish something to make it look really, really good, probably don't want to wire brush it. But this is going to be a shop cart. It's going to get beat around, banged around. I mean, it's what it already is, but I'm just redoing it a little bit uh probably gonna spray paint it some of her wheels are sticking pretty good i did just go dig this out of a scrap pile out of an old building that fell it's been laying out in the uh weather for three or four years maybe longer see how thick this paint is here i mean probably just going to spray paint it i haven't decided yet got these screws that they had in there for something that just keeps coming out once the paint's off them. Throw them up here. We might use them. I use everything. I'm going to put some oil in these. Spray some PB Blast or something in these. See if I can loosen them up. I'll come back with another update here in a few minutes. Alright, we're going to straighten this out right here. I hope I can get back in the camera. The slip, I'm gonna work on straightening it out some. Probably start with, I'm just gonna pull it, pair of pliers. Might, might do it, actually. Bend it actually a little farther than we need to. I haven't got my body hammers with me. See what I'm doing here? Using this block for a base. It'd be better if you had a two before to go all the way down it, maybe clamp it here, but let's not get tapered.
I hope you got that in there longer than I wanted to do. Probably cut that some, but uh, see how much straighter it is now. We're getting there. Got to straighten this leg, get this wobble out of it. But I'll come back and show you that. Let's come in here at this hammer. Beat this thing kind of straight. I ain't even put the wood on it. I think it's straightened up pretty good. Fairly straight. We'll see when we turn it up here. Pretty sure I lost all that footage just now because I forgot to hit record. Still got a little wobble in it. Like I said, I got to finish it down there. I don't know if I put that in there for it cut it out. We'll figure it out later when we edit it. I'll have to bring this down some more, wipe it down before I paint it, finish that. If I can't get that out, I'll put a washer or something underneath that leg right there, underneath that wheel. Maybe add a little bit to that wheel or that leg, maybe a quarter inch or something to get the wobble out. But we'll see what happens. Let you know. We'll be back. Switched up here, got away from the wire brush for a while till it's about wore out. This stuff here is a lot harder to get off. I'm going to one of these wheels here. I call them paddle wheels. I'll try to put a link in the description of where I got it. Uh, ordered them offline, I'm thinking. Well, this one may have come from Tractor Supply, I'm not sure. The Harbor Freight brand don't seem to be too good, but this stuff right here, I'll show you a quick little clip. Eat that stuff off. All right, I'm going to finish doing this, and I'll come back in a little bit. All right, coming back to you here on this cart we was working on. Uh, still working on it a little bit. It had a wobble in it like it was bent out of square. And I tried to tap around on the legs and square it up. And I come to find out I could just tap this wheel out. It won't come all the way out. See it down in there if you can see it very good. I just squared it up. That, that should work. If not, I'll tap it all the way out, put washers on it, tack well to washers, fix it where it will. We still gotta get some oil on it. It's not moving very well, but we'll get it. Just wanted to show you an update. I'll show you here when we start cutting legs. They extend it. We're gonna extend this about nine inches. I've got my piece of angle that I'm gonna scab in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cap it. It's showing up or not. There's going to be my cut. It gives me a half inch of uh, on each side. That one hooks a little more than a half inch. Might need to remeasure that. But I'm going to cut this at 10 right here and put it in here and give me a half inch hangover. I think that's more an inch and a half. Well, if I can get that in there, yeah, okay, that one's marked wrong, that's what it is, yeah, we marked that one wrong. Get the camera to focus. My half inch. This one needs to go out to right there. I'll fix that. Give me a half inch hangover. Something to weld to. All I'm going to do is just take a grinder and cut this. Uh, my blades wore out on my chop saw, so I forgot to bring the new one with me. We'll uh, go ahead and cut this. We're going to do the same thing on every one. Like I said, I gotta remeasure this one. But, and then we'll extend it and I'll show you this welding her up. All right, thank you. Put us a clamp on here, uh, just to hold that on while we do it. A little big, I couldn't locate the small one, so we'll just go with these. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. I'll put this in on the video. Just wanted to show you how we clamped it down. Just taking our 
grinder, wherever it might be, and chopping it right off. Uh, coming back here on our cart we was working on, see I extended these legs here. Uh, I run into a few little issues here and there trying to get it framed up. Couldn't get it square. See, I still got one to put on. My welder, my other welder, we had some problems out of it, so I went home and got the new one. But uh, the way I was doing this, you know, I get my level and, you know, just bring it up make sure it's level all the way across and try to check the plumb of the legs so none of them is exactly plumb but I'm trying to get it the same way all the way up the same every leg with the same amount of plumb in it if that makes any sense you know but just wanted to give you an update just taking these in here see what I'm doing there Pack the man, God, these tight, these wells look horrible. Uh, you see the difference in them and that one? Well, that's the difference in uh, the welder working correctly or not working. So, I'm going to go ahead and weld this one up here and uh, I'll show it to you when we get it finished. So now we got it, I'll show you this real quick. I think it's 35 inches from the crown. Well, maybe not 35, 35 here, right at it. So I gotta get this side up even with it, and we'll weld it up. I'll come back, show you what I'm doing, try to edit it all together. Thanks for watching, guys. Here is a prime example of your welder not welding correctly. I thought, man, I have forgot how to weld. Okay, and then this is a better weld. Not saying it's the best, but it's a lot better than this top gobbed up. My argon gauge had been, I guess it got moved around when we uh, moved the welder earlier. So yeah, uh, you can see this, this, it's horrible. Come back and I'll show you the finished product. All right, here we are. It's finished up, all except paint. Get ready to paint it. Uh, I didn't have no uh, paint thinner or anything out here. This garage, so I had a little gas and bucket. Took it and took a rag and wiped it down. You know, get all the oil or anything off it. That way, hopefully the paint sticks better. But uh, I'm gonna paint it here. Give it a coat. Just some spray paints. All I got right now. We'll see how it turns out. I'll show you the end of it. Well, here it is now all painted up. It's a lot higher. Needs another coat of paint or two. But uh, we're going to let this dry and give it another coat. Uh, I'll try to put a picture of it in. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to edit out and what I ain't yet. But like I said, I, the, these here... For some reason, I thought I was supposed to have a half inch hangover. I was gonna make it 36 inches, uh, but as you see, I, I cut them 10 inches, I think it was, uh, and it was just gonna be too high. So I took the top of it in and got the height I wanted, which was 35 inches. I guess I was off on my measurements somewhere. But as you can see, it needs another coat of paint, but pretty good little cart. Yeah, you can buy them cheaper than you can do all this. But if you got time on your hands and ain't got nothing else to do, and, uh, you know, just, this is the thing for you. I mean, it's it's just a little hobby. I wanted to do it, wanted to share it with you guys on YouTube. So give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe subscribe if you want to uh but we're gonna cut out finishing up the video on the cart this will be 
this will be all we're going to do to it right now. Flip it around, show you what I've done. Use some uh, dollar store rubber seal link, rubber sealing on this top to give it some texture. That way everything went slide off. Wanted flex seal, it does real good, got real good grip, but can't find it. Man, I've had trouble finding just dollar store spray paint. If you don't have one of these little spray paint guns, handles, you need to get one. It makes it so much easier, you don't got it all over you. But just giving you an update here, we're about to get it painted up. We're going to add us a magnet on the side of it for our tools and stuff. I'll show you all that, but, you know, we're just trying to get it painted here. Make it look halfway decent. I'll show you when I got my magnet stuff on the side of it, what I'm doing. And I'll cut all that in somewhere. Got it all painted up. Uh, we put, like I said, the dollar store seal on it. I couldn't find flex seal. We painted it. It's still drying. A few spots. Not real dry. Added a magnet from Harbor Freight on it. Uh, just drilled through it. Held it up. Took a paint pen. Marked my dots. Drilled through it. Uh, that way I can hang my ranches and stuff on it. Uh, got it got it rolling pretty good now. One tire still just a little bit dragging. It's not dragging. It's just rolling not as smooth as the rest. But it'll, it'll free up a little oil. Just needs to move around. Like I said, got this out of the junk pile. You'll see the pictures, how it looked before and how it looks after. Uh, just, I mean, it's not perfect. Just something to do. Had some spare time on my hands. Wanted, wanted to piddle around a little bit. Didn't want to buy one. Well, let me rephrase this. I tried to buy one that had been sold out of, they've been out of stock for weeks. So I knew where this one was at. Somebody told me I could have it. It was no good, they said. Now we got a shop cart. You see how much I extended it? It was only about right here, which would strike me about right 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 in there just a little above my knee and only come up to the bottom of the bumper of my truck as you can see in the other videos and now it's it's well over top of the bumper up to next to the grill tell it's drying more in some spots than others but that's it here go home and get us some supper uh real quick i was gonna tell you guys where I cut out oh uh, I'm gonna give you a loose use the Lincoln welder this is the 140 pro mig it it does a great job you can't you cannot beat it for the price it's the biggest 110 unit they they have uh, and these wheels here like I said here's the cutoff wheels we're using here's the paddle wheels as I call them they're just sandpaper but I mean like I said if y'all want a good welder go pick you one of these up about $5.99 I love them they're way better than a Hobart in my opinion I mean nobody's paying me to advertise for them because I probably don't get very many people to watch the videos let alone somebody want me to advertise their stuff but like it, comment. Uh, I'll try to put a link to all the tools I used in the description. And uh, don't forget your old light. Everybody needs to buy one. Listen, if y'all don't have these, you got to get one. Uh, they're they're awesome. Uh, use mine daily. This this is the best best light I've ever had. It's got a great warranty. They stand behind their warranty. Uh, you know, just you, you can't beat something like that. And this light will last up to 18 hours on medium setting. I mean, high settings like six hours. But anyways, enough about my light. Uh, like and subscribe. Y'all have a good evening.